One of the hardest things to achieve in 3D is realistic renders. And I see this happen a lot with students. And one of the easiest ways to make your renders more realistic is to use references and also create finer details. And so in this video, I'm going to go over some of the finer details in this wine bottle render and how you can create them as well. So let's escape out. So this is the scene right here. We just have a simple lighting setup here. So we have an area light. This has a gobo attached to it. This is through an paid add-on called Light Wrangler. There's a link in the description if you want that. And this is just shining some light onto our scene. And this is what's creating these shadows. Then a big white plane here. This is our reflector. So all that's going to do is just reflect light back into that edge. And I have another gradient light here which is just creating this edge along the bottle. We both know that the biggest struggle in 3D is getting your renders to look photorealistic. But what if I told you that there is three elements that you can follow to instantly level up your renders and to improve your renders a lot faster than you're currently progressing. If you're interested in learning these three elements, then I have a completely free workshop, which you can watch. It's 45 minutes. It's gonna teach you a ton of value about 3D product rendering and how to get photorealistic renders inside of Blender. All you gotta do is put your email in the top link in the description and sign up today. See you over there. Let's get back into the tutorial. But what we're here for is some of the lighting effects. So to get the liquid lighting, what I've done is put a light underneath my plane and I've just cut the plane out in the shape of the bottle using a Boolean. And so that allows the light to go through the plane. This is what how photographers would do it. And then I've also got in here a, a bubble. So you can see that there's a bubble running inside this. So what I'm going to do is hide this and I'll show you how to create the bubble, I'll create a new one. Bubbles. All right, so the bubble is fairly simple. So I started off with, if I go top view, shift A, I started off with a meta ball and I just started off with a ball one here. So a meta ball is just this big ball that if you duplicate it, it joins with each other like this. And you can come down here and you can increase the resolution, which is what I did, so something like 0.1, so it's super smooth. But what I did is just had a bowl like this, and we just scale it up. And we can scale this flat, so it looks like this. So then if I go to the top view, I'm just going to scale it down, and I'm just looking at the bottle. Here, let's turn off my viewport overlays. So we have this bottle here, maybe just turn off the camera, so extras here. So we have this here, and I just wanted to put this under the bottle. So the first thing I did was sort of scale this up like this. And when I duplicated this, you can see if I duplicate it and go on the Y axis, I can scale it down here, take it down here, and I can press S and Y and scale it up like this. And so we can get some of these unique shapes that happens in a bottle because a bottle actually uh, sort of ripples. And so we can get that. That's going to be covered by the label. And so what I think I did was I went something like this and I moved this up. And I shift D, duplicate this guy. We take him down. We'll scale him down like this and we'll scale him along the Y. So we got something like this this and it's just connecting a little bit there and so what I can do is grab these two meta balls and then control click the top one this will turn it the top one into an active object and I can go control P and parent it and then what you can do is go here let's go to the left uh, right view here and we can just turn on X-ray mode with Alt Z and you can just move this down. What you want to do is just move it down just under the surface here. You don't want it to come out of the bottle here. So what I'll do is I'll just move this along. Just move it down like this. Like so. 
and I want to grab it and I just want to sort of rotate it so that it's we need it to be clipping into the glass here so that it does the nested dielectrics thing so let's uh, lift that up a little bit now you're just going to add a air pocket into this so all I did for the air pocket was add a new material and it's just a glass BSTF and I just left the settings as default you can adjust this air is actually one but because you, because of how blender works if you put it one you're not even going to see it so I think I had it like 1.1 or something and you can have it like that and it's super light and the more you adjust this the more that that's going to bend light and so you could have it at one point I think I had it 1.325 which is the same as as like what whiskey would be I think or wine so then you've got this so then what I did was I actually converted this into if you right click or we can go object and convert we want to convert the meta ball so select the meta ball here right click must be up under object convert to mesh and that'll convert everything we tab into edit mode for the meta ball and so basically if you look down here it's looking fairly good but I just want to clip some of this make sure it's up into the glass here so I'm just going to turn on my proportional editing this will give us an effect I turned it off to a linear fall off so that it just moves everything so I went something like this and move that up into the glass there and you can grab this tippy top move that up into the glass and that's good to go so now you've got this and then what you can also do is just add those extra little details so it's in that same collection I added in just a UV sphere and we just want to turn the segments down by at least half I think I could divide this by three on both of these so divide by three we can't see what's going on yet just because it's so big so let's uh, take this take it down let's uh, shade it smooth and scale it down you can turn off proportional editing and all you're going to do is go to the front view here and you want to scale it down like a bubble as if it's sitting up the, the top of the bottle so it'd be squished and you're just going to move this up and you're going to go to top view, find it. And then you're just going to move this into position. So, I want to drag it down here. And you can start to see it. Let's grab that bubble material that we created. And then you can start to position this in where the meta ball is. So that's the meta ball. Can start to position it you might be easier in wireframe here so you can start to scale him down put him in there shift d to duplicate him now what i actually did was did the, all this in edit mode so I duplicated them in edit mode and i just created these little bubbles around the edge of this and we'll grab this in a second and make sure it's up into the bottle So now we're getting these little nice little bubbles in there so let's go uh, you can select off the side you can press L to select the linked one and I'll just put this one over here and it's important to look at references so I looked at a few references and sometimes it'd have like a few little dots like this but yeah follow a reference for this Let's move it up here. GY. Let's move my view so I can see the top here. And also think about where it would pool. So it's going to pool at the top of the curve, like that. That's where the water's going to pool. Also remember that there is such a thing as uh, surface tension. So it will actually create tension where the, and it will do this where it 
sort of bends because of the tension on the liquid. So it's not going to be perfectly flat. And I think for this effect, let's have a look. Let's get that through there. I might just put two random little ones down here. Put one up here. Uh, scale that one down. And now we've got just got these little details that make it that little bit more realistic. And so you could also add this, say if the bottle was sitting vertical, you could add it where the liquid level is. And think about, if you're watching some of my other tutorials, think about that if you've modeled the liquid so it's sort of sitting here, if you lay the bottle flat, there's going to be no air bubbles or air up in here. It's all going to be at the highest point of the bottle. So let's save this and we'll go to solid view and I'll just press F12 and let's render this and we'll have a look. All right, and so look at how good that looks, just tiny little details that you've added and it sort of shows that you've taken the time to look at some real world references and taking the time to make it as realistic as possible. And so if you're doing this for client work, I think this is just a simple way that you could really level up your renders here. So I think that the render's looking quite good and that one would be nearly ready to hand over to a client. If you're interested in learning how to create realistic renders like this one and learning some of the elements that has got me to this level, then make sure to watch or sign up for the workshop in the first link in the description. If you have any tutorial suggestions, then make sure to comment down below. Make sure to have a look around my channel to see other tutorials like this one. All right, I'll see you in the next one.